Hi Trailblazers, this is Julie Lyon with the Vanguard TV. Here's Jasmine Khan with the inside scoop on the negative effects of stress on our daily lives. Hey Trailblazers, this is Jasmine Khan with Vanguard TV. Did you know the average teen gets about seven to seven and a half hours of sleep? However, they need between nine and nine hours of sleep. But if we be honest here, most teenagers get about four to five hours of sleep or even less. But why is that? Many researchers say it is due to amount of stress or the things a teen might be going through. According to some health organizations, they found out that 49% of students report feeling a great deal of stress on a daily basis. I went around our campus and asked some peers about sleep, school, and stress, and how to deal with all of those. School stresses me out, um, not only because I have to come in every day. Um, school starts at 9, you know, so that, that sucks by itself. And getting work on top of that, then having football after, having practice till 5.30, then going home, having to do chores as well as my homework, that's not a very good feeling, especially when it's five days a week. I mean, school isn't really stressful. It's just, it is hard to, you know, catch up on sleep when you're waking up early in the morning and you're going to bed late. But uh, as long as you get your work done, I mean, everything's fine. Um, it affects my sleep cycle because I'm always up thinking about um, other things, um, whether it be school, football, life in general at this age you know a lot of people think about a lot and especially being in high school and an athlete that kind of intensifies that i mean it's got to it's going to be hard the first couple of weeks but you just got to learn to put your phone down because it keeps you up um as long as you got your phone down and you start like regularly regularly practicing going to sleep earlier um you know you can get up earlier and you won't be as tired throughout the day Okay, so as far as students dealing with getting enough sleep and um, dealing with stress, I think that students just need to do a better job of managing their time. So I would recommend that students actually select a time where they are going to stop studying, they're going to turn off their phone or put their phone down, and actually set aside time to sleep. Um, too often, students stay up way too late. Um, doing homework, studying for tests, or just playing on their phone. And they do need to select a time where they can truly power off and and get the rest that they need. Well, I think our teachers do a really good job about making the work that they do in their class about their progress and their growth, not necessarily about the grade or the number. I think a lot of times it's the students putting the pressure on themselves to get the best grade or to compare their grade with their peers. And really it should just be focused on learning the content the mastery of the material, and the progress on their growth. With Vanguard TV, this is Jasmine Khan. Hey, Trailblazers. Welcome to another episode of Delectable Dishes. I'm your host, Cameron Guyton with the Vanguard TV. Today, we'll be going to Little Greek Fresh Grill. We're going to go back to Greece. Oh yeah, we in Greece, we got the theaters! Ha, ah, psych! Psych, we ain't here. Yeah. So there were a lot of good things on the menu, but I ended up getting the chicken skewers. And then there was this other thing called the gyro roll. Yeah, that, that's, that was pretty good too. Ooh, they got a lot of desserts, but yeah, I can't eat none of those. Yeah, yeah. All right, Trailblazers, that's it for this episode of Delectable Dishes. I'll see y'all next school year.
place that we claim to have landed on and explored, but we haven't. In 1957, Sputnik was launched into space by the Soviet Union. Then, in April of 1961, Yuri A. Garnin was launched into space by the Soviet Union. This terrified the American public. The Soviet Union was winning. So what would America do in order to catch up in the space race? From behind in the space race, on July 16th, 1969, the Americans launched Apollo 11 into space. Now this craft were supposed to land on the moon and we landed, supposedly. And we won the space race and won politically and economically. This was a huge win for the US. But the real question is, did we actually land on the moon? Now on that day, the rocket never made it to the moon. It just simply circled around the earth and landed safely. You may say, we have footage of the moon landing, but was that on the moon or in Hollywood? During the 50s, McCarthyism was everywhere. It turned Hollywood into a place of evil communism. Now, if they wanted to change people's minds about Hollywood and make sure that they're a good place, why not help them win the space race? By helping them film fake moon footage. They got all the props ready, the cameras, the lights. But they made one crucial mistake. On one of the rocks, you can clearly see the letter C. So it shows how it was just a, a, a prop rock labeled C. The moon landings were fake. What do you think? Do you think the moon landings were fake? Or do you think the U.S. actually went to the moon? Let me know on my article on lthsvanguard.com. Have a great day, Blazers. Hello, students. My name is Zachary Widener with The Vanguard TV. On April 26, Avengers Endgame opened up to the largest box office opening of all time. Recently here at LTHS, many students have been taking their history EOCs and AP tests. So I set out to see if students knew more about Marvel movies in the Avengers or US history. Let's take a look. I'm here with Matt, Ariel Klein, Claire, Lorenzo, Asai, uh, Gabriel Barnes, Olivia Hankins. Jim Anno. How many Avengers can you name? Uh, are we going original or like new? Any Avenger. Uh, Iron America, Captain America, Hulk, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Spider Man. Is this post or pre Endgame? Um, those are the um, the ones we got the uh, that Falcon dude. Uh, none. How many presidents can you name? Uh, I can name a few. I can name George Washington, just Andrew Garfield, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Donald Trump, Barack Obama. Um, mm, uh, there. I can start from Obama. Wait, no, I'll start from Trump, Obama, Bush, uh, George Washington. Yeah. <laughs> How many Marvel movies can you name? Um, I've only watched a few of them. Uh, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Captain America, like all the Captain Americas. Um, Avengers, I don't know how many there are. Black Panther, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, more Spider-Mans. <laughs> Iron Man, Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, uh, no, uh, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ant-Man, Ant-Man the Wasp, you have Thor, Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, Endgame and Infinity War. How many states can you name? Uh, Texas. <laughs> Alabama. 
Arkansas, <laughs> Nebraska, <laughs> Texas. Um, Who plays Iron Man in the Marvel movies? I mean, Tony Stark. <laughs> Who plays Captain America in the movies? Chris Evans. Can you tell me who plays Thor in the Marvel movies? Chris Hemsworth. Who wrote the first draft of the Constitution? Uh, John F. Kennedy. Uh, Adams. No, Matt. I have Stewart. Oh, God. No. <laughs> okay. Who wrote the first draft of the Constitution? Okay, we can stop there. Was it John Hancock? Huh. Reporting with the Vanguard TV, this has been Zachary Widener. Thanks for watching. If you have any story or segment ideas, visit lthsvanguard.com. We will now leave you with a highlight reel. Have a great summer, Blazers. Dance? Dance.